back with Dr. Dorian. Can we pick up where we were yesterday talking about washing the masks? I said 10 seconds in boiling water. Is that enough? Yeah, it makes complete sense. Boiling water will kill all bacteria, viruses. 10 seconds, real quick. So you could take it out, hang it like you said, makes sense. Get like three of them, put them in rotation. Because if people feel they have to do a giant laundry cycle every time to wash a mask, there's just one more stress. Look, for me, <laughs> the key is wash it. Don't throw it you know, on the table and then come grab it the next day because somebody else is gonna touch that table. Are you noticing any patterns out there? Who might be getting this more? Yeah, definitely males are getting it more than females. Uh, and the shocking part is I'm seeing a, a younger middle-aged demographic that are really getting sick. They are making it through, but they're really getting sick. So middle-aged men is what you're saying? Yes, right here, bingo. Us? <laughs> Us. <laughs> And, Why and, is that? You know, an interesting thing about COVID-19 is the fact that the body overreacts. And some of the symptoms that we're learning about is actually a product of our own body overreacting, overfighting. To the inflammation. That inflammation is causing other problems. And when you have enough strength to overreact, as in middle-aged men like us, yeah. we end up putting ourselves in harm's way. We get intubated, we get put on a ventilator, and we're in the ICU for 14 days. So that's a long course. So you get, like we're hearing about some heart disease and some heart failure. And is that because the body is trying to react to that inflammation and that puts too much pressure on the heart? Yeah, so the best way to think about it, we're, uh, lupus is an inflammatory disease. Yeah. And lupus, unfortunately, uh, can actually cause a lot of different organ failures. It's looking like COVID-19 is gonna do the same thing. Yes, predominantly the lungs, but it could also affect the heart. It could also affect the kidneys. And we're realizing people are showing up to the hospital now with a lot of different other symptoms. And this is gonna create a big ripple effect down the line. What kind of symptoms? Symptoms of chest pain, diabetic ketoacidosis, where the sugar is really high. Uh, people are falling down, breaking their hip. Little old lady is breaking her hip. And we're like, oh, she tripped and fell. No, she got weak because she had COVID-19, she fell, broke her hip. So normally we wouldn't think of that person being coronavirus positive. There's no respiratory symptoms. We're testing them and we're realizing that's the reason she fell. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.